Oh, bow in heart, it's all you've come to do. Cash to the ground, leave today. Oh, I'm bowing up, it's all you've come to do. I don't know. for Jesus. You may be seated. And as you are sitting down, you are sitting on top of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank God for giving me this great privilege to mount this podium this morning. It is the grace of God. To God be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I thank our mother in the Lord. Our father in the town. And the entire presbytery. For approving me fit. To mount this podium. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. I thank all men, women, choir, children, first-time worshippers, I celebrate you all in Jesus' mighty name. Can you jump your hand once again for Jesus? Amen. Without wasting time, do we have titles in the house? Package your tithe. And quickly walk majestically and present it before the Lord. Can you just raise it up? Begin to talk to God about what He said, the command He commanded about the act of paying tithes. It doesn't demand for 90% of your income. You only demand for 10%. And he said, do this, test me and see 
if I would not open the windows of heaven, I always like to say, package. Yes, it will package you with all good things. Begin to talk to God. Say, Lord, I have do my own. Lord, do your own. Amen. And in case your tide is not close to you, you quickly move forward and uh, meet with somebody there. We will tell you what to do about how to transfer. In case you want to make transfer, how to transfer into the church account. Amen. Drop your tithes. Because you are faithful with your tithes, God will be faithful to you with your income. And I, you will instruct all the devourers not to temper with your income in the mighty name of Jesus. Then with the mantle of my calling and ordination, I ordain your hand that you would never, never go lack. Your hands will never dry by the reason of the anointing your hands will never dry by the reasons of the anointing your hands will never dry by the reason of the anointing your hands will never dry for anointing breaks the yoke amen amen i i, I understand please take care of this mic i don't like what i'm trying to see now let me look amen, amen. i understand that Today is a Thanksgiving service. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Amen. Can we just start it? Can we kick start it with this song? Amen. That song that says, Ntia, Akbo song in Koyima, Akan Libo Abasi so song, Ntia, Akbo song in Ibarra, Dan Adibo Abasi so song, give me that song. Ntagi baga song now and you are ready to, to get prepared for a thanksgiving service are you ready now if i give you a topic of a song and you refuse to play it out there will be error Aka. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. If the devil is trying to work on you so that you will not have the 
the, the, the ability so that you not have the guts to give God thanks. The devil is a liar. Amen. What do you say? The devil is what? A liar. You must give God thanks. Hey. Briefly turn with me to Psalm 136. Are you there? Psalm 136. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, we must give God thanks. Are you there? Psalm 136. I read from verse 1. In case it may be different from your own translation. I'm taking it from King James. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy is endured forever. Can we, read, can we read together now? Take it from verse 1. One to go. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy is endured forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. For his mercy is endured forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords. For his mercy is endured forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders. For his mercy is endured forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. For his mercy is endured forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. For his mercy is endured forever. To him that made great light for his mercy endured forever. The sun to rule by day for his mercy endured forever. The moon and stars to rule by night for his mercy endured forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn for his mercy endured forever. And brought out Israel from among them for his mercy endured forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out hand, for his mercy endure for, forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endure forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endure forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endure forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endured forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endured forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endured forever. Sehon king of Amorites, for his mercy endured forever. And Ok the king of Bashan, for his mercy endured forever. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endured forever. Even an heritage unto Israel's is servant, for his mercy endured forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endured forever. And had redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endured forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endured forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven. For his mercy endure forever. Amen. Amen. Permit me to caption this message. Unveiling the mystery of thanksgiving. Unveiling the mystery of thanksgiving. Father, I present myself before you. Speak to me that I speak to your people. For the entrance of your word give it life. It sets the captives free. Lord, yeah, I present myself before you. Speak to me that I speak to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Unveiling the mystery of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a mystery. Some people don't know the value of thanksgiving. 
And some people don't know the meaning of thanksgiving. To thank somebody, to give somebody thanks. Some people, they are fond of, even if you do everything, you give them anything, they cannot say thank you. And they will just maintain. Some will say, ah, uh huh. Young make a yen or ten thousand naira. You have women bring and ten thousand naira. Now see, they're easy to give. Why not give? Why not thank him for the little one that he has given to you so that he will give you more? I did not ten thousand. Look at uh, look at my level. I did not ten thousand. You know, the you know, the check level, sir. I can't even know five hundred thousand. Amen. So some people are like that. Abba would go forget on your five hundred naira. Oh. Next day you will go home and sit down and think on how to give more. Because I am so I appreciate. Let us see what Thanksgiving is. Amen. 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 What is Thanksgiving? Let's see. What is Thanksgiving? Number one. The act of expressing appreciation or gratitude. The act of expressing appreciation or what? Gratitude. There are some people that are in gratitude. They cannot appreciate. Even during the Easter, even you present one bag of rice, five goods, 200,000 cash to package the whole thing. Because he has an ingratitude spirit in him. He walk there. He cannot say thank you. I don't wanna, sometimes you just look at it and say, okay. Who give me this one? They say, now nah, Mr. John. They say, okay. You cannot pick phone and say, ah, ah. Oh boy. Ah. I just wake up. I saw what you brought into my house. Oh, oh, I'm very... There was nothing in the house. That thing that you brought, oh, you, oh, God bless you, God bless you. Next time, he will do more. Appreciation. One has to appreciate somebody. Somebody has to appreciate somebody to trigger more, to trigger more, to trigger more acts. I'm not going to go to the house. Because you don't go a good words again, appreciate. A good words again, I for the ingratitude. So God is like that. God is like that. Amen. I thank this commission for making for setting this service aside. Service of thanksgiving. Amen. Number two. Grateful feelings or thoughts. Graceful feelings or thought. When you feel, ah, this man has helped me. This lady has helped me. This brother has helped me. This sister has helped me. You begin to think. You begin to think. Nam so Nsembo Nam. Ah ah, he gave me ten thousand naira. Ah ah, but I don't have ten thousand naira to give him back because some people, I'm a nom boy, a nom gun, I'll see you. Am I talking? There are people like that. I don't mark and hold one point. Nya young gun, I'll see you. But I didn't buckle. That one is fun of our our people. Ya nom gun, I'll see you. I'm a young nom boy, it's like a bar, I'm a nom boy. Instead of you to make it reasonable, am I a ten thousand? ten thousand? meaning because you are in gratitude. And I saw an bong went so that you know, you know, you know, goes to fifty or hundred goes to hundred. Ingratitude, lack of appreciation. Then if somebody, if a human being loves thanksgiving, if, if a human being loves thank you, then what about God? The man who gave us life. 
Amen. 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 Let us see other aspects. I want to make it very brief. Amen. Amen. Now, why should we give thanks or embark on thanks given to God? Yeah. Uh, because everything has reason. Why should I thank you? There are people that when they know that you have every month promise here, every afternoon promise here, every they will, they will even stand by you like when you are driving along. Promise here. Why? Because they see you, you are riding on a car. And they are thanking you with expectation. What is not Thanksgiving? Error. They will, they will stand at the gate. Oh, sir, welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. welcome, sir. welcome ma. Error. Error. Amen. Why? Should I give Dr. Tang Tang because he's riding on a car? Should I walk to a pastor man? God bless you because I'm expecting from him. There is a reason why thanksgiving should come up. That's what we are going to see. Why should we give God thanks? Number one. Amen. Number one. For his mercy endure it forever. Psalm 131 verse 1. The mercy of God has no limit. The mercy of God. Because there are things we do that provoke God up to the extent that God will just shut down everywhere. But mercy speaks. Am I talking? There are things we commit that is how we behave that could have shut down the whole avenue of our favor. But God has mercy. We should give God thanks be God because He is God of mercy. And His mercy does what? Endure it forever. Mercy. We are surviving by the mercy of God. We so it look. Whatsoever that we are today, it is not by our works, it is not by our making, it is by the mercy of God. Because if he's going to, if they say, okay, let us judge, let us quantify this man, that me and you will not go, will not go anywhere. Am I talking? Because they are member physically, they are not for physically. Sometimes, you need to see the other way, you me. But mercy of God. So we should give God thanks because of what is mercy. Number two, why we should give God thanks? For his goodness. For his goodness. Exodus 4 6. Number three, why should we give God thanks? We should give God thanks for his love. God is love. God is love. 2 Corinthians 5, 14 to 15 and John 3, 16. For God is love. The love that God has for us, he gave only one thing that he has. Only his begotten son. It is true love. If God did not love me and you, Christ couldn't have come. Am I talking? So why would you give God thanks because of his love? towards us. Amen. Number four. Why should we give God down? We should give God down for his kindness. Oh, God is very kind. That. This one doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't need to talk much. You, you know now. Me, I experience it. You, you experience it. God is very kind. How can somebody just come in now and say, Oh Lord, forgive me? Immediately forgives you and gives you what it's supposed to give you. 
Is that not kindness? We should give God thanks because God is kind. Number five. That one you can get it at, uh, at uh, Root Gospel chapter 1 verse 8. For his kindness. Number five. For his compassion. Oh God. God is very, very compassionate. God is very, very compassionate. He's very, very compassionate. You can see that in Lament Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22. Amen. Number six. Why should we give God thanks? We should give God thanks for his faithfulness. God is very, very faithful. Hello? God is very, very faithful. Sometimes if you enter into a business with me, you may fail me or I fail you because of my nature. Am I talking? I enter into a business with you now. Either you fail me or I fail you because of my nature. But God is not like that. God is very, very faithful. If you would, the moment you enter into a business with God, it goes like that. Even if, even if, even if you, 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 you are not faithful, he shows mercy and proves himself as a faithful God. Amen. Don't you know the nature of man? Man is born wicked. That's what the scripture says. But God is faithful. God is faithful. Amen. You can see that in First John chapter 1 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 10 23. Are you there? First John 1 and Hebrew 10 23. Number 7. Why should we give God thanks? We should give God thanks because he is our healer. God is our, our healer. He heals us. You could have died in all the sickness that they have deposited into your system. If God is... There are some, there are some, there are, there are some illness that is in your system and God doesn't allow it to come out. God will just quietly kill it without your notice. He is our healer. He is our healer. He heals us. The moment where we are sick and we, when we call upon his name, he heals us. He is our healer. You can see that one in Exodus 15, 26. Number eight. He is our shepherd. Ah! Anywhere you go, the man will go with you. The man will not allow you to, to walk into the pit of wickedness. Some of us walk out in the night. You don't know where the rough boys are camping. But because the scripture says that the step of the righteous is ordered by the Lord. He will order your step. He will, he will guide you. He will lead you. He's a good shepherd. I will come again. Ah, is it not worth to be given thanks? Church, is it not worth to be given thanks? You can see that in Psalm 23 verse 1. Number 9. He is our sanctifier. He is our sanctifier. He sanctifies us. Look, hello. If you enter every family in Ibibio, don't allow anybody to tell you, say, my family is so, is so superb. It's capital lie. There is no family in Ibibio that is superb. It is the grace of God and the work of God. It is the work of sanctification. Because a free move on him. It's on him. Go, go, tell him what. In every family, there is go, go, tell him what. Do you know what go, go, tell him what means? Those local gods you, you pour with. They, 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 another thing that marvels me, just look at a shot of Ogogoro, a shot of illicit gin. Very small. I made the young man again. Then if you know what to do, you, you, you also walk and carry the blood of Jesus and pour. I counter every nonsense of that illicit drink. So in every family, there is cook, what those small gods. 
and they are and and they are and they are working on your system they are they are day and night they are carrying out check and balancing till you are going out and you are coming in so that they frustrate you but it is god that intervene for you they cannot get you they will fix that say so so they I, I will finish him the lord will sit on his throne and say you are talking lie just like yesterday when i i escaped electrical accident i told the devil you are a liar that that, that, that was on thursday when I was trying to arrange for preparing to come for evangelism, I just lay my hand on a socket. I did not know that that socket was purely naked. When I lay hand to, to do certain correction, what I noticed in my right hand was as if an ant bite me. As I, as I was just dropping my hands like this, the little answer, oh God, you can't let the remember. He used the tester and tested. He said, "Look at what you look at what lay look at what lay on your hand," and he tested it, and the light was on. I said, "Wow, the devil is a liar now, is it not? Is God not worth thanksgiving? Why should we give God thanks? Why should we why should we carry out the act of thanksgiving?" Number ten said, "Number ten. He is our righteousness. The sanctified one, one says, Exodus 31 verse 12. You take down of that. Then number 10, he is our righteousness. He is our righteousness. If you claim to be righteous, that is your own. That is voluntary righteousness. We are all depending on we are all depending on the righteousness of God. My talking. We are we all depend on the righteousness of God. We are man, we just manage. Sometimes the devil will say, eh, he wants to be righteous. He will start to put leg back, and God will say, No, it is my own. It is our righteousness. Jeremiah 23, verse 6. Number 11. He is our peace. Kai. He is our peace. God is our peace. Outside God. Forget about peace. Am I talking? Outside God. Anything peace. Forget about it. Because the devil is walking day and night to make sure that you don't have peace. Am I talking? The devil will enter into your family and, and, and minister to your wife. Madam Timnia, you know that this man doesn't like this food. And the devil is telling you to prepare and keep it down for him. So when he comes and eats it, the man will just vibrate. My talking. Mm -hmm. So God is our peace. He will tell you, prepare this food. You used to love this food. You prepare. He will, see, he, God would instruct you on what to do so there will be peace in the house. There are some women that even if you give them 20,000 and when they go to market, they meet with their friend. Madam, I can't call you for that. I'm making no 40,000. They say, man, we don't know 40,000. I mean, no 20. I'm going to go to 20,000. I'm going to go to That is the work of the devil. So that you will not have peace. But somebody is looking for 1,000 naira to enter market to manage. Because there is peace. So God is our peace. When God is your peace, anything you present is accepted. Ma will accept anything that you present. And Ma will receive anything that you present. Because God is your peace. Because the devil is working 24 hours to make sure that Kata day for house. So you will not have so that you enter in the so that you will come into your office. You can use your office girl to set the missionary on. So you will not have peace. But if God is not by your side. You will not have it. When God is by your side, that peace will comprehensively drop to you. So, he wants thanksgiving because he is our peace. Our going out 
and our coming in, God is our peace. So he words, the, he words comes given. Number 12. He is our provider. In that, our peace, Judges 6.24. Number 12. He is our provider. Genesis 22.14. He is our provider. Because of how, because you know, you have the connection, you know how to connect, you know Mr. John, you know Mr. Kwe, you know Sister Mike. My... That is not the issue. If God doesn't provide for you, connect whatsoever you connect. Connect offshore, connect onshore, connect South Korea, connect North Korea. It works. Hello? If God doesn't provide whatever connection you are having, it will work there. Yeah. It is the law that provides. By the time you see that brother, you see that sister, and you can drain the glue. I know how to work very well. Who do I tell you? It is the Lord that provides. So he works given. It was given thanks. Amen. 13. He is our all sufficiency. He is our, why he should be given thanks is because he is our all sufficiency God. Genesis 17 1. He is our all sufficiency God. Number 14. He is with us. He is with us. Jeremiah 2011. He is with us. If God is not with me, if God is not with you, that you are sleeping, the miracle of sleeping and waking alone will not be your portion. Am I talking? Somebody you see somebody in the morning, in the afternoon, he walks very majestically. The, the moment it is one o'clock, twelve o'clock, he said, that man, that other lady is, is dead. What brings it? So, God wants given thanks because he is with us. Read that scripture for me. Jeremiah 2011. Amen. Because he is with us all the time, he's with us. Jeremiah 2011. Why we should give God thanks? We don't have any reader in the house. Media, what's happened to the screen? Jeremiah 2011. Give him mic. Okay. Let's, let's, let, let's read it together. But the Lord is with us. Oh, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. But the Lord is with me. You can put us as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Amen. If some are you convinced now that God wants that God deserves a thanksgiving? Hello, church. Are you convinced now that God wants a thanksgiving? Amen. Amen. Conclusion. How do we give or embark on thanksgiving to God? Uh -huh. That's the question. We have known the other, the other part of it. This is we're now on conclusion. How do we? How? How? How do we give or embark on thanksgiving to God? Amen. Number one, by sacrifice. 
Hello? By sacrifice. And that sacrifice comprises your time. It comprises your time. It comprises your money. It comprises your energy. It comprises your body. Because your body is a living sacrifice unto the Lord. As quoted the scripture. Amen. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. By sacrifice. So your time is important. Your money is important. Your energy is important. Your body equally is important. That comprises the sacrifice. How do we give or embark on thanksgiving to God? By sacrifice. Number two, by praise. By praise. By worship. And by service to God. Are you with me? That's why when some people, when they are praising God, they are sitting down. They don't know the meaning. Because by the time you are praising God, you are carrying out a certain level of sacrifice. Am I talking? By the time you are praising God, you are carrying out a certain level of what? Of sacrifice. By the time you worship God, you are carrying out a certain level of sacrifice. Amen. Then by service, how do you serve God? Because serving God is part of the of the sacrifice. How do you serve God? Do you serve God garbage in and garbage out? Or do you serve God wholeheartedly? Amen. 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 Now, Number three, when do we give or embark on thanksgiving to God? When? Is it in the morning alone? Is it in the afternoon? Is it in the evening? No. Timely. Tell your neighbor, timely. Timely. If you look at that, Psalm uh, 36, look at what God did. The moment. God has finished with one item. Give him thanks on that. The moment God step into another one and do something, give him thanks on that. Don't keep it. Nja. Nja. Because when you keep it, when the thing begins to pile up, God will label you. This is my son that has ingratitude. This is my daughter that has lack of appreciation. It's not optional. Timely. Oh God, give me a child. He give it to you. Give him thanks immediately. Oh my God, give me job. And he give it to you. Give him thanks. Timely. Oh God, give me husband. And he give you husband. Give him thanks. Don't allow it to compile so, 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 that, so that God will not label you. And the moment God label you in gratitude, the devil will come. I will not serve this God again. Caleb, don't enter. Timely. Oh God, give me car. And God gives you car. The moment that car gets into your hand, give him thanks. Oh God, give me wife. The moment that God gives you, the moment God gives you wife, give him thanks. Oh God, give me job. I need a good job. Oh God, change this job for me. I want you to change, change this job for me. And the moment God change that job for you, give him thanks. Don't compile it. Amen. 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 Timely. Timely. 
because all you have what you are and what you are about to be is from the Lord is from who is it from me now you look very sweet and kinky is it me that does it who did it rise to your feet now if you know that what you are where you are now your position now eh? it is God that does it rise to your feet the thing when you give me papa Nahim ade bring kam so The thing when you give me papa Nahim ade bring kam so Oh papa Nahim ade bring kam so That song, eh? That one, a pigeon. Amen. We want to give God thanks. Check your pocket. This one is this one is different from seed sowing. Bring it out. Bring it out. We want to give God thanks. Don't bring the thread. This one is not so. It's not seed sowing. Bring it out. Bring it out. Today is Thanksgiving service. What thing you bring? Don't give them. Not me, you sing them. Not me, sing them. The thing when you give me now, they bring so. Is it not so? Uh -huh. Bring it out now. We want to do something. Bring it out. Let me present it to him that the food when we they eat and every, all the drink when we they drink, all the enjoyment, all the good, good life, sweet things, peace, security. It is him. Bring it out now. Amen. Amen. Boy, give me that song. Come and drop it. Hey, drop it at the altar. If you know that you don't have anything, just walk down, drop your hand, and go back to where I sit. For God knows. He knows. Am I talking? Does he, 
Does it mean God doesn't know it? He doesn't know? He know. Come down and drop your hand and go to your seat. Be very fast because I'm not going to waste time in the service. The thing when you give me papa, drop your, your empty hand. And they will give me a The thing when you give me papa, I am hard and break ordination we your people that you fight for that you defend that you provide we your people that you are our own sufficiency that whatsoever that we are now and that whatsoever we are about to be all is from you we have come to say thank you thank you Thank you. May our thanks be accepted by thy side. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, use this and remember your people. Amen. Is there any area that they are having deficiency? Lord, intervene and do as you used to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 That is a wonderful section. As you are sitting down, you are sitting down on top of your enemies. Amen. That is a wonderful section. Amen. 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 Any moment from now, I will shut down the service. That's how today is. I, I, I hear my mother telling me, greet my sons and my daughters for me. So greetings from Mama in the name of Jesus. Are you glad? Yes. I am connected. Tell your neighbor I am connected. Uh -huh. Another one now. This is the one that we used to do. The real, the real. You cannot reap in where you don't sow. Everybody say agriculture. Say agriculture. What is agriculture? Do we have any agriculture in this house? We have. They know what everybody knows what agriculture is. Come and sow so that you reap in a raining day. Amen. Come down so that we close. Amen. Come and sow. Come and sow. So that you will reap. Every act of God is accompanied with one thing or the other. Please, we are not going to waste time in this service. So, whatever you are asked to do, please do it immediately so that we will release you. Amen. Come and sow your seed. Come and sow your seed. No seed is too small. You are just sitting down to waste time. No seed is too small. Seed is, is seed. Either you sow okra, or, or you sow uh, maize, or you sow, uh, what do you call the other one? The other seed, uh, uh, tomatoes. Whatever seed you have to sow, sow. Don't say, I don't have seed. Don't sit there and say, I don't have seed. Hello? Is there anybody in the house that says, I don't, I don't have seed? You don't have. Is there anybody in the house that says, I don't have seed? Come and sow for the raining day. If you are coming, please be fast. If you are coming, if you are coming, make it very fast. Don't delay us because we want to. The safety will be shut down in a few minutes. 
That's how today's service is. So you feel you no, no stress. Amen. 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 As you sow little, when the harvest comes, I decree and declare that you reap bountifully. Amen. Are you sitting down to receive it? I decree and declare by the time as you sow little by the time you harvest may your harvest be bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. for you this month so many people started the month with you and so many of them have not seen the last day of the month or the last Sunday of the month but you're here it is worth our thanksgiving hallelujah please rise on your feet bring out your offering begin to speak to that offering tell God what you want that offering to do for you says none should appear before me empty whatever you tell God today to do with that offering he is faithful to do it father in the name of Jesus we come before you with the little we have oh God almighty we ask that as we present our offerings unto you you will accept us and accept our offerings in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Lord God almighty that this offerings Jehovah will pave ways for us where we have always wanted ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you because we know that today you will use our offerings to bless us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, well. hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Savior was the Satan. Yeah. He has given us the victory. Oh, that's why we say Shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good.